brand new location, 31 Jackson Street, Sweet A here in Noonan. Same great taste, the best chicken around, fish dinners. Open Monday through Saturday, 10.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. It's Wishbone Fried Chicken, right next door to their former location, bringing you the best chicken around. So great. Wishbone Fried Chicken, 31 Jackson Street, Sweet A, here in Newton. What is good? 99.1 WQEE, The Key. We got the hottest new show coming to you live, The Jet Stream. Tune in every Saturday on your 9 a.m. morning drive. First, they said cigarettes were safe. We know how that turned out. Now, they say they didn't market e-cigarettes to teens? Fact, more than one in four high school students are vaping, and 80% say their first e-cigarette was flavored. Vaping is harmful to developing brains. The reason we think vaping is safe? Marketing. Same lies, different day. Tell Big Vape to quit lying. To protect his home and family from disaster, Steve used courage, wisdom, and his camera phone. That should do it. Way to go, Steve! By simply taking digital pictures of his family's important documents, Steve can always have them stored safely online, no matter when disaster strikes. Learn other simple ways to protect your home and family before a natural disaster at ready.gov. That's ready.gov. A message from FEMA and the Ad Council. Stop US Kids presents What to Expect When You're Expecting. A Teenager. Learning the Lingo. Jelly. Jelly adjective. Jelly is a shorter, better way to say jealous. As in, Chloe, I am like so jelly of your unicorn phone case. You don't have to speak teen to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. Visit AdoptUSKids.org. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Adopt US Kids, and the Ad Council. Hey, sports fans. Weekdays, 3 p.m. Eastern to 5 p.m. Eastern. Drive time on WQEE. Braves Country is a southern sports talk show with Mac McGee and the armchair quarterbacks. That's Braves Country with Mac McGee and the armchair quarterbacks. Weekdays, 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. right here on WQEE 99.1 FM. First, they said cigarettes were safe. We know how that turned out. Now, they say they didn't market e-cigarettes to teens? Fact, more than one in four high school students are vaping, and 80% say their first e-cigarette... Roundup or other weed killers. A California jury recently found Monsanto's weed killer caused a groundkeeper's cancer and issued a verdict for $78 million. More evidence found that Monsanto, the manufacturer of Roundup, may have known that Roundup and other weed killers were likely linked to organ damage and cancer. This information was hidden from the public as proprietary trade secrets since 1981, and Monsanto may have failed to adequately warn about the potential risk of cancer. If you or a loved one was diagnosed with cancer after being exposed to Roundup or other weed killers, you may be entitled to significant compensation. Sentinel Group now. You'll pay nothing unless there's a recovery in your favor. Don't fight it alone. 1-800-619-8064. 1-800-619-8064. That's 1-800-619-8064. 1-800-619-8064. In the market for either buying or selling your home, City First Mortgage Service, LLC, is the first place for all your needs. Ranch manager John P. Lewis and his staff can serve you with a smile and professional courtesy. Serving Georgia, Alabama, Florida, 770. Good morning. Welcome to WQEE 99.1. I'm Donna. And I am Bruce. And this is Lyrical, Lyrical Wisdom. Wisdom. Good morning, Donna. Good morning, Bruce. How are you today? You know, I am good. Yeah, <laughs> me too. I yeah. had a fabulous morning. Yeah, there's a lot going on, but I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> 
Hi, yes, I, uh, I am going to say that if anybody else out there is recovering from the flu, because I had it this weekend, and um, I am just uh, grateful for the good feeling that I feel now. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's what I meant. There's a lot of a lot of stuff, yeah. not only sicknesses, yeah. but people are in their feelings too. Oh there's gosh, there's yeah. a lot going on, and it is December. It is the holidays. There's a lot of a lot of thoughts and energy and processing going on. There is, and, yeah. and uh, I'm excited about this song. Um, if I can uh, say this was a request, I know I can say that. Yes. And uh, this request is a song by Collective Soul called December. And um, we are very excited to be able to do this this morning. Um, yeah, thank you. His name is Brian, right? Right, David. Brian? Brian? David. 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 Thank you so much for sending in a request here yeah. at Lyrical Wisdom. You can, anybody can send in a request to yes. the Lyrical Wisdom Show at gmail.com. That's yeah. Lyrical Wisdom Show at gmail.com. And we are, yes, um, David, is, that's correct. Yes, we are very excited about this. And I'm going to admit that I liked Collective Soul. I loved Collective Soul's music. And I am a big fan of it, but for some reason, these lyrics were not something that I had listened to as carefully as now we are going to talk about <laughs> them today. Into yeah. It. yeah. So, thanks, is, David. Um, this and, is... <laughs> and I can see the world out there is uh, very excited about this too because we have a, a a little bit of something going on. Yeah. So, uh, but um, I just have to say that um, we're very excited about this, so I'm going to dive right in. Please do. Um, December by Collective Soul. Why drink the water from my hand, contagious as you think I am? Just tilt my sun towards your domain. Your cup runneth over again. Don't scream about. Don't think aloud. Turn your head now, baby. Just spit me out. Don't worry about don't speak of doubt. Turn your head now, baby. Just spit me out. Why follow me to higher ground? Lost as you swear I am. Don't throw away your basic needs, ambiance and vanity. Don't scream about. Don't think aloud. Turn your head now, baby. Just spit me out. Don't worry about. Don't speak of doubt. Turn your head now, baby. Just spit me out. Why follow me to higher ground? Lost as you swear I am. Don't throw away your basic needs, ambiance, and vanity. December promise you gave unto me. December whispers of treachery. December clouds are now covering me. December songs no longer I sing. December promise you gave unto me. December whispers of treachery. December clouds are now covering me. December songs no longer I sing. And that chorus repeats. Twice. Twice. The don't scream about, yes. don't think aloud, turn your head now, baby, just spit me out. Don't worry about, don't speak of doubt. Turn your head now, baby, just spit me spit out. Spit me out. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I, uh, that's why I say I, I really, really love this song. It is, um, it is just, uh. I, I love the first sentence. Why drink the water from my hand? contagious as you think I am that's I mean yeah. so how do you see that what do you see that as well in uh um to be honest with you um I feel like I kind of lived a little bit of this with having the flu and you know somebody wouldn't want to necessarily give me a kiss in the middle of having my fever because <laughs> you know they would be thinking I, I'm contagious you know and so why drink the water from my hand contagious as you think I am in a very simple way you could just look at it like, okay, well, if you can, if you could catch something from me, mm -hmm. then why would you do that? Why would you 
Why would you take that chance? Well, I was also going deeper than that. Of course, as of course. To, um, why take my advice? Exactly. If, if, you, yes. if you think I'm so wrong. Why take the food that I offer of wisdom or of, uh, or of knowledge? Exactly. If, if you yeah. think I have some sort of disease, if you yeah. think, you know, that what I am is, is, I don't want to use the word in, maybe incorrect or I don't want to use wrong, but do you know what I'm trying to say? Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah. It's... In other words, the word contagious has a negative connotation to it. It means there's something bad there right. that you don't want to get. Right. Right? But it can a be contagion? used as... Yeah, you, it can be used as something... Good humor can be contagious. Good vibes can be contagious. It can be good. Yes. Right. And, and blessings and, and things that are wonderful. The, the things that, that are, are good can be contagious. And, and it I doesn't, think that's what this song is trying I firmly to say. Believe that because, because, yeah, I mean, even though it's, it's posed the other way exactly because it's yeah. asking why drink the water from my hand contagious as you think i am exactly yeah 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 and um, so if if you really don't believe what i am saying my wisdom what's coming out of me you know why are you even listening <laughs> yes 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 of course of course yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and and that's the thing is uh, also why drink the water from my hand contagious as you think i am because you know there there is a sense too that um you know maybe maybe that just isn't needed anymore maybe the the lesson has been learned right or maybe i'm not contagious exactly like I... it doesn't it doesn't necessarily have to be like a contagion that yes. you know is like well you don't you don't necessarily want to hear what i have to say that or kind of i am thing. contagious in a good in a good way way yeah yeah and that's, because yes, i think that's where what i'm going just yeah. tilt my son towards your domain your cup runneth over again. Yeah, and I feel like we're running over each other. I'm sorry. I just, it's, yeah, that's exactly what I think of that. Because right as it leads into that, after contagious as you think I am, that's where I feel like just tilt my son towards your domain. That is such a beautiful line. What, what do you see that as? What I see that as is just allow yourself to receive my fill in the blank love. Yes. And I'm, I'm thinking mm -hmm. love, you know, like I, that's where I fill in that blank, but I just tilt my son towards your domain. To me, it could be the warmth of the sun actually, um, standing in the direct sunlight. I love that some days when it is as cold as it is outside, because that sunlight is so warming and, and that's yeah. the beautiful thing about it is okay. You know, because I know there are a lot of people out there that are experiencing the flu right now, I don't mind taking that word contagious and thinking of it in a way that could be resonating with some of you. However, it is a good thing because how could you possibly tilt the sun towards your domain? Your cup runneth over again. That is just so beautiful. Right. That so, is so even beautiful. if you are down and out with yeah. the flu, yeah. if you take what I believe is the whole energy behind this as love, yep. Then Which you... I define God as love. Absolutely. If you tilt love towards your domain, call that your body. Exactly. That is full of dis-ease yeah. right now. Your cup will run it over again. Again. And I, yeah. I'm, yeah. I, um, I see I... the sun as energy, power, nourishment. And it, right? it's, yeah, the, the, the best kind of food for all of our lives in a lot of ways. It's that, that beautiful thing. It's and light. It, it is, it is the light and it is. Also, um, some people think of the sun, S-U-N, as also the sun, S-O-N, yes. and how those two actually mean the same thing. Now, that is a whole other rabbit hole. However, um, that to me is just beautiful. Just tilt my sun, tilt my warmth, tilt my love in your direction. Right. Shine it towards you, and your cup runneth over again. And it... The minute you say your cup runneth over again, a lot of us already know the reference there. It doesn't have to just feel like it comes out of the Bible. It is really, or any kind of prayer, it is really one of the most beautiful thoughts because it is simply saying, and you are re-loved, re-lived, re 
reestablished. You are rejuvenated. I'm sorry, I couldn't you're, think of that you're word. You're more than, than full. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, you're yeah. You're overflowing with whatever it is that, that you're wanting. Bursting. Yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yes. yeah. Just yes. so full of it. And the chorus. <laughs> <laughs> don't scream about, don't think out loud. Just turn your head now, baby. Just spit me out. Don't worry about, don't speak of doubt. Turn your head now, baby. Just spit me out. I had to throw that in there simply because don't scream about, don't think aloud. Turn your head now, baby. Just spit me out. I feel like it's, it's really a really kind of like a, um, a statement to me about how this is, it's, it's like an un, I want to use the words, it's like an unspoken rule or an unspoken thing. Don't scream about, don't think aloud, turn your head now, baby, just spit me out because screaming and think out loud of it's, it's like, don't, um, don't let out this love that I've just given you yet turn your head now, baby, and just spit me out. Like, I feel like it, it's a statement of saying you are now running like completely full and overflowing with this energy. Now, how can, how do I say, keep it in and then spit it out. It's like, it's that that's the, the, the part that I feel like that's what it's saying is don't worry about, don't speak of doubt, turn your head, baby, just spit me out. Like, it's just making a comment of just release this love, just give it kind of like recycle it, give it, oh, that's give it out so to the rest of the, Bruce. and I, I don't know how else to say that. I'm sorry. I'm stumbling over my words right on live on the radio. It's I wonderful. know. It's so beautiful um, because it reminds me of what, what I am creating called the little movement. <laughs> life is love. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. love is life. And when you take in love, if you go around screaming and, and thinking out loud, and worrying and speaking of doubt, you're not going to be able to be love. You're not going to be able to share that love. No. Yeah. So don't don't do that. Yeah. Just turn your head and spit the love out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> share the love. Share it. Yeah. Share the wisdom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. It, yes, that's exactly how I'm trying to put it. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. It, but it it almost sounds like um, it almost sounds like the turn your head now, baby, just spit me out doesn't quite fit maybe where where I think this is going but I really do think it is because it's it's a less uh it's an effortless action and what resonates with me is that to me taking effortless action means it's pure action that is coming directly from the heart and the soul and from that place of love yeah and so I feel like that's what turn your head now baby just spit me out is really saying you know and then why follow me to higher ground, lost as you swear I am? Don't throw away your basic needs, ambiance and vanity. Um, I think I repeated those incorrectly. Well, it's okay. okay. Yeah, that's but, uh, where we're at now. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, so... I think, why follow me to higher ground, lost as you swear I am? Because in some ways, the question is posed just simply, I think, out of joy. Because in a lot of ways, it's almost fun to ask the question to people, you know, when you're having an amazing time of feeling these good things and you're like, everybody probably thinks my head is in the clouds and I'm just way out there in the stratosphere or in that world up there, you know, lost up there in the universe. And they probably think I need to get grounded, which is very <laughs> true, you know, however, you know, it's, it can be kind of like a, a little bit of a tongue in cheek moment to me between people that really care and love each other. Why follow me to higher ground lost as you swear I am? You know, like, yeah, we're going way out there. Right. You know, let's, I guess we're going to have fun with this. Why are you like? A... Well, I know what you're saying, Bruce, yeah. because I, I have been there. I have been called a butterfly chaser. <laughs> <laughs> and I that's like that. what I, that's how I see this. Yeah, 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 you yeah, know? yeah. If you think I'm so lost. Then why the heck are you following me? Yeah. You know, why are you following me? You should have seen the look in Donna's eyes. There is such a sparkle to those eyes right there. And so, yes, it is. I, I really do believe that. And, and I think that's a part of maybe what don't throw away your basic needs, ambiance and vanity, is kind of as a reminder of don't throw away the, the basic needs. We still have to exist in this world 
that is, as some of us like to refer to, the 3D, this thicker, more denser frequency, mm-hmm. and, and in this place where, you know, we still have to function in it. There's yeah. still something in it called money. There's still, you know, things that, that we are working with here. And how do you define ambiance? I mean, for me, it's atmosphere. It's yeah. what surrounds you. Yes, yes. It's, it's where you're at. Yes, yes. And so you have to make sure that that is nourishing. Exactly. And if following someone to higher ground feels good, then by golly, do it. Yes. Um, vanity. Vanity, I guess most people see that as, as bad. Um, there was... Um, there's a song that kind of Carly Simon. <laughs> kind you're of, so vain yes. that you think the song is about, about you. you. Yeah, yeah. And and I think that's what they're saying is you need to go there sometimes. Absolutely. You need to make it about you. Absolutely. Absolutely. You need that self care. You need to think about you. Yes, you do. And that's some, your basic. And need. and you know what? Some days there are going to be people out there that are going to try to accuse you of being selfish. And you know what? Too bad. That's what you have to be. Because if you're not careful about how you take care of yourself and making sure you look out for your own self, that sounds like a, I don't mean to sound like a dictator. I'm just saying that it is important to me to possess some of that atmosphere, you're, you to preserve the atmosphere and the ambiance. And then the vanity isn't bad. It is sometimes necessary to make sure that we are truly focusing only on ourselves yes. and caring for ourselves. Yes. And, and then that becomes the beautiful effortless action and pure action that can come out of that by finding our own peace and love within. Yes. And then we can turn our head baby and spit it out and share it with the rest (laughs) of the world. Yeah. You know, what's beautiful about this, Bruce, and the reason why I love doing this, number one is for each and every one of you. Thank you so much for being here and listening to us as we um, go into our you know, place yeah, and yeah. share wisdom with you all. We really do appreciate this. I just, in my mind, saw a vanity. So, as a child, I had a little vanity in my room. Oh my and gosh. for those of you who do not know what a vanity is, it's a little table with like three mirrors that surround you and the chair so you can sit in front of the mirror and you have to look at yourself and you don't just have one angle looking at yourself straight on in your face Mm -hmm. you have one to the right that's an an angle of your profile of the right side of your face and then a profile of the left side of your face because of the three different angles that the mirrors create yeah so for me a vanity (laughs) i was like wow yeah you really do need that vanity every now and then Take it literally in the 3D world is a vanity that you sit in front of and look in the mirror. You have to, yeah. What is it that is making me uneasy right now? What is it that is causing me to scream about, think out loud, worry, doubt? Absolutely. What is it? What is it? We need to look in. We need to sit at the vanity. Yes, we do. <laughs> we do. Um, and the that's actually... Um, One of my favorite tools, I am a ballet teacher as well, one of my favorite tools to use to teach my students is to teach them to look at themselves in the mirror. Yeah. Because the mirror in the ballet studio is not for the teacher, it's for the students. And they have to learn how to see not just the good things that they do, because that is a wonderful part of their development, is to be Mm -hmm. able to see what they do well. Exactly. But they also have to be able to self-correct, and that's what that becomes. It becomes a symbiotic relationship between me and the student, because then they're recognizing their own things that they need to fix and you know what for me the whole the whole story or the whole meaning of this song is coming into being because we each other are mirrors yes we are mirrors for each other so why why follow me to higher ground ground why drink out of my hand you know I'm your mirror. <laughs> I love doing this show with you, Donna. Yeah, yeah. So the, December, uh, here we are. <laughs> December promise you gave unto me. December whispers of treachery. December clouds are now covering me. December songs no longer I sing. And then those lines to me 
December promise you gave unto me, December whispers of treachery, December clouds are now covering me, December songs no longer I sing. To me, that last line, December songs no longer I sing, is the comment on the promise you gave unto me, the whispers of treachery and the clouds that are covering me, those are the songs that they no longer sing. Mm -hmm. Because to me, it seems like this promise you gave unto me, whispers of treachery and now these clouds are covering me it's like okay this is something that i have grown and passed through i've moved through i've worked through i've done this shadow work and now <laughs> i no longer sing that song and but once again it um it repeats it and mm -hmm. i feel like to me like what we were just saying it, it really kind of is a kind of a is it correct to say an allusion to that like an alluding to that well yeah yeah, yeah. of course it is and you were Illusion. It's it's beautiful. It's magical. Yeah, yeah. And yet, some people, and it can have a negative connotation too. Yes. <laughs> Disillusionment, yes. or yes. you know, an illusion. Yes, you are correct in saying that both ways. I, definitely, I, I, definitely. I, yeah, no, because I, I, that's I like the the thread that we have been weaving in this song. I really feel is a is the way that um that really resonates with me because that to me is then that last little comment of like December songs, no longer I sing. And I love the poetic way that it's written, because in every possible, in every way, whoever wrote the song with a collective soul, um, just so I don't um, I miss it giving them credit, um, but just simply to say, you know, the way they say these things, just tilt my son towards your domain and your cup runneth over again. I just love how everything has been done so poetically, because yes. it is such a beautiful poem in that way, speaking to... Turn your head now, baby. Just spit out the love. Yeah. You know, yeah. we don't sing those songs of treachery and, and clouds and darkness and, and these things anymore. We don't have these songs preying on us because of promises from something or somebody else and, and other things. We now sing a different song. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, those... and you know, you can take it literally too yeah. <laughs> and still go there, Bruce. Yeah. <laughs> You can see December promise you gave unto me as the birth of Christ. Oh, uh, yes. And the whispers of treachery as his death upon the cross, you know. Yeah. And the clouds covering me. When you go into the Christ light, you are so covered and, you know, of course, taken yeah. care of. Oh, my gosh, That you yeah. no longer sing the songs of, you know, of society's... Um, definition and entrapment of Christmas. Right, yes, okay, yeah. The, Does the, that make sense? Yes, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> the, the whole materialistic uh, approach of it and, and some of those things that some people just don't resonate with when we get to the holidays. Yeah. You know, looking around and seeing how the decorations go up and thinking, gosh, you know, I just don't think of Christmas as, you know, putting uh, flashy lights and stuff on street lamps. Or, or cars, or cars, yeah, you know, <laughs> and, and, cars but, now. Yeah. but that's you know that's that yeah. is a that's a wonderful way to yeah I yeah. um I, but I see it as December. What is December for us? It is the end it is. of the year. It is. It is a time, the solstice. It is of of just burying everything, going within, looking at ourselves. What needs to fall away? What needs to be released? For the new year, for the new coming, for the sun. Absolutely, and that's, it, and that's and the, the it's the the rejuvenation or the um, the word I'm looking for is the rebirth. Yes. Or the reincarnation. Yes. Because yeah. after three days, the sun is basically uh, setting and rising in a little bit like the same place. Mm. And then after the third day, it is reborn and reincarnated, and it brings upon the start towards spring. Yes. And so that is incredibly important in our world, and, and that is, to me, just like this, the December point of time, which... Yeah. That's the rebirth. Beautiful, a beautiful, beautiful song. Yeah. Thank you, David. Yeah. Yes. I mean, yes. this was awesome. Yes. Oh, my gosh. We Thank appreciate you. you all. Yes, we do. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you. Yes. Um, please. Uh, Thank you for listening to Lyrical Wisdom this morning. Um, and uh, please, if you have any requests, please let us know at lyricalwisdomshow at gmail.com. That's lyricalwisdomshow at gmail.com. Or reach out. 
to Ryan. Or reach out Thank to the you. man. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, Thank we you, appreciate Tony. WQEE 99.1 FM yes, for allowing us the space to share wisdom, Thank lyrical yes. wisdom. <laughs> See you next week. Ha, <laughs> ha,